Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. Now, for the last three episodes, I've been covering how to set up CMake, how to set up Travis, and how to set up AppVayer so that you can have an automated build environment for free for your open source projects for Linux and Windows. Now, Travis also supports macOS. I have not discussed that yet. My goal for today is to show you how to set up some ctest testing which takes advantage of cmake's environment so with our ctest we will have automated builds and tests now running on linux and windows for every commit that we make to our project and i feel like at this point we'll have basically met what i believe is the bare minimum for any project that you're taking seriously. It needs to have some tests, it needs to have an automated environment, otherwise it's impossible for you to keep up with all the possible different configurations. And maybe at some point we'll update our AppVayer and a Travis environments to have multiple uh, tests with static analysis and multiple compiler support and debug and release builds, but for the moment, let's just add some tests. Now, for a quick reminder, our project is this Lefticus slash CPP starter project that doesn't yet have a description and, as I've said before, is a continuously evolving thing, so expect to see the files on here change. And if we reload this, we can see that just six minutes ago, in fact, I added the appfair.yaml file. So this is our project. It's pretty straightforward. It has a license, a readme, a main, a cmic, an appfair file, and actually a .travis.yml file, which on Unix, if you're not familiar, anything that starts with a dot is implicitly hidden. So let's go ahead and see about adding a test. So we're going to add a test to our project now, and we're going to do that by simply adding a new executable. And we're going to call it tester, and we're going to use this executable tester.cpp. Now we're going to tell CMake that this is a test that we wanted to execute by simply giving it a name, tester, and passing in the executable that we wanted to execute. Now obviously there's much more you can do than this, but we're keeping this very uh, simple and straightforward. So we just need to now add our tester.cpp. We're going to make this a failure test by having it return a non-zero value. And now we should be able to build this. And we should have our two executables, tester and intro. So we have added an executable, we've added a test, but we have not yet told CMake that we want it to generate a test script for us. And to do that, we need to include the testing features, which is done very simply with the command enable testing. So we execute this command, and now when we build, and CMake automatically reruns for us, we should be able to run C test. And we have here our individual test that ran and failed as we expected it to because it returned a non-zero result. So let's go ahead and make our test actually return a success code. And now when we make and rerun C test, we should get a success. So that worked. This is great. We're going to go ahead and add our tester.cpp to our GitHub project. Need to type git. And now we want to update our appvayer and Travis files to run these tests for us. So for our AppVayer C test support, we just need to add a test script section to our appvayer.yaml and tell it that we want to execute C test dash C debug. So we're saying we want to C test against the debug configuration, which makes sense because the debug configuration is the one that we built in this particular case. And similarly for our Travis configuration, all we need to do is say ctest, and we can 
do dash J2 here, which we could have done in the app fair also to say run in parallel two tests at a time. And this can actually be very important if you accidentally created tests that rely on running in a particular order in your code, which I highly recommend you don't do, then um, you can do this dash J2 and things will get jumbled up for you and you'll figure out where you've made mistakes in your test. Now notice on the Linux version here, we do not necessarily need to specify which build configuration we actually want it to test against um, because it's configured at configure time where on Visual Studio you can choose debug or release from the IDE. So we have to give it a little bit more information there. So that should be all that we need to do. And so we're committing our changes to our Travis, our app Veyer, we're adding our test, and we're committing our changes to CMake. And we can hop over here to Travis and see that our test is now running in our Travis CI dashboard. And similarly, we can hop over here to app Veyer and see that it is also building and running the test for us. So there you have it. This is how you can add CTest tests to your CMake-based project and how you can have them automatically built by your free continuous integration environments for Windows and Linux with Travis and AppVare. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.